it's Quentin again, and I'm going to show you how to create this pretty cool looking effect. This is just the intro. Okay, here's the effect. So as you can see, it's just the car throw effect. You could probably make yours look a lot better than mine. Because you can see while I'm throwing it, um, it's the lighting kind of changes on the car, but anyway, <coughs> I'm just going to show you how to make this. So, here's what you need to film. I'm basically just going to import these into a new comp. Okay. So, here's my clip of me pretending to throw a car. I'm pretending to throw it in a clockwise motion, and if you film it in a clockwise motion, you need to walk around the car, um, film the car in a counterclockwise motion. So you're basically just going to film yourself doing that, and then film you walking around the car. So, um, it might take a while, but we're just going to mask the, um, I'm just going to name this layer car, and then this, the, this layer, um, axle. First, we're going to take the car layer and find the first frame, the area when, um, before you throw the car. So this is the area when, um, the car's still going to be on the ground. So we're going to, um, click on it, hit, um, Oh wait, let's just do an easier way. Just duplicate this layer, and then go to time freeze frame. And just name that layer stationary car, or whatever you want to name it. So now this is just a solid layer. And then you can... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> take the pen tool, and just mask, your ma mask it around. So that's just um, the car. Okay. Wow, look at that lighting. So the lighting when I filmed it was not good at all. Well, anyway, just um. Oh yeah, take the actor layer, put it above the stationary layer. And then change the opacity to about like 50%. So now you can see through. And I'm just going to turn off the car layer. So I'm going to find, um. Okay, so look, I'm bending down to pick up the car. So I'm going to take the stationary car layer and drag it like over to where I am. So now I'm going to throw it. <coughs> Sorry. Now you can just take the opacity back to 100, and then put the stationary layer above the car. We actually could have just done that in the first clip, but too late. And you can also feather this out a little bit, maybe like 5 pixels. And, fi and go to the timeline and find the area like right when he throws it, and then click on the stationary layer and hit all end bracket. Put the car layer above the actor layer, and then we're just going to mask around the car, so hit M, oh no, you can't even do that yet. So now we're just going to make a mask around the car, that's where it's going to start, and then hit, um, page down, and then just, like, kind of follow it, and if you, um, if you film the car, like, a full 360 spin, and now you don't want to mask all of that, I really only 
to like about like 10 degrees of the car. I only maxed it about 10 degrees. And that's how I got my effect. So, this is the end of part one. And I really just don't want you to waste time watching me max the car. So, basically, you can just watch part two. And by then, I'd have finished masking around the car. So, bye. I'll see you in part two. And, um, yeah, bye.